Evie Bauer has been a student at St. Stephen's for the past three years. During her time here, she has been a part of the National Honor Society, the Spanish National Honor Society, the volleyball team, the musical, chapel council, and she is a ping pong pro. Please welcome Evie. Thank you so much, Reese. Good morning, everyone. As the months before today crept closer and closer, I continued to tell myself that I had time. I have time before this speech. I have time before graduation. I have time to decide where I'm going and what I want to do. I'm sure this is a common feeling for most, especially juniors and seniors. Needless to say, the clock keeps ticking and senior year is almost over. I have made endless decisions this year about careers colleges, and how I can best spend my time. What I'm here to tell you today is that the future is unknown by everyone. While that doesn't sound like an earth-shattering revelation, I've realized that often the simplest lessons are the ones that are most overlooked. Despite what some people might say about their future plans, chances are some of it might get lost in the passage of time, and some dreams might be pushed to the back burner. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Not knowing what will happen is actually pretty amazing. The goals or aspirations you might have at this very moment could pale in comparison to what life has in store for you. As someone who has dealt with change as a constant in their life, I can speak from experience when I say that I obsessed over what my future would look like. I tried so hard to plan so there would be no room for uncertainty. As you can imagine, this strategy failed and did me zero good. What I've come to learn is that the beauty in the future is quite literally finding beauty in the unknown. I never would have pictured myself coming to St. Stephen's, forming deep connections, and doing the musical each spring. Yet my friends, teachers, hobbies, extracurriculars, sports, and classes all make up my most cherished experiences here. The happiness I discovered was a byproduct of an unknown, overwhelming future. I don't mean to say that planning out events that will bring you joy is a waste of time, but instead to push aside the immediate impulse to worry over what might happen. Rather, let yourself be wrapped up in the spontaneity and unpredictability of life. The best memories are created without any intention of it happening whatsoever. The future is not something to dread, but something to celebrate. Those celebrations are even more meaningful when shared with special individuals. Choose those who smile when you smile, support you when you need it, and cheer you on unconditionally. High school hasn't been the smoothest path, but it undoubtedly would have been much more challenging without my most trusted people by my side. With that said, I'd like to recognize some people that have made my path better every step of the way. To my siblings, Lexi, Julia, and Tommy, no one makes me laugh harder than you guys. Thank you for instilling in me an extremely competitive spirit and reminding me every single day how lucky I am that we get to share so many past and future memories together. You three mean the absolute world to me. Mom and Dad, what I could share in this speech is nowhere near what is deserved. The sacrifices you've both made are unmatched, and the encouragement that you've given me is unparalleled. I'm so proud to be your daughter. To my friends I've been blessed with over the years, Savannah, Ashley, Sawyer, Priscilla, and Kenzie, Thank you for simply being you. I will miss you all beyond words. To Madison, Edward, Jaden, Sam, Maddie, and Patrick, I have no idea how you all simultaneously manage to be the funniest, energetic, and most kind-hearted people ever. You guys should know that you have made senior year exciting in every way possible. I can't wait to see what you all contribute to the world. To the person I've truly grown up with, Kylie, I can't thank you enough for the sunshine, excitement, and awesomeness you bring into my world. The future will be bright simply because you'll be in it. Therese, thank you for being my first and best friend here. Spanish class sophomore year gave me the most generous, beautiful, bubbly, and talented girl ever. I love you. Thank you to every teacher I've had and every member of the St. Stephen's faculty and staff. Your hard work does not go unnoticed. Finally, this speech would not be complete without a special shout out to the class of 2024 for an unforgettable high school journey. Cheers to you today and to what tomorrow will bring. Thank you.